Hi, I hope you're well. I really hope you've had a good week and that you've been looking after yourself. In this week's vlog, we have water in the inspection hatches, a window on the pontoon, and I try to finish the daisy. Plus, what's going in my journal this week? With grey skies, we left Dog Dyke mooring and made our way to the next mooring along Landrick Bridge. In 1971, these gorgeous birds were persecuted down to the last female in the UK, and now there are over 700 pairs. Before this amazing bridge was built, people used to cram into a ferry taking their lives in their hands to cross over the river. But once it was built, it was a great day for the people of Langriga Bridge. Let's walk across Langriga Bridge. Okay, we've got a problem here. Let me show you what the problem is. Right, the problem is we have water in the inspection hatches and that is coming from our expansion tank which lives underneath the water chlorifier. And over time, and our boat is over seven years old now, it's rusted away and it's causing it to leak in quite big drips. So my contribution is I'm just gonna give it a little dust. I go under in this cupboard, it's a bit dusty. Oh crikey, it's very dusty. So how are we going to fix this problem? Well, I looked on social media and a massive thank you to Dave from Cruising the Cut because he volunteered to come round and fix the problem and vlog it. And I would have snapped him up. However, because the water was coming in quite quickly, we discovered there was somebody just ahead of us under Langrick Bridge who could help. And here's our brand new shiny one. But unfortunately we had more leaks. Remember all that rain I showed you earlier? So here's the window. Underneath the window, here underneath the wood. And it was leaking through the frames onto the floor where Zephyr is lying. So whilst Mr M set about repairing the window by sealing it and then putting it back in, I decided to finish the daisy. Thank you. 
not perfect. What is perfect? And it was time to get ready and leave Langrick Bridge Mooring. It had been a fascinating place. Obviously we'd had things go wrong, but we were right near the New York restaurant and we were about to head to Boston. So we're leaving New York and we're heading to Boston. God, I feel really well travelled in my narrowboat this week. So this is the wonderful marina. Dave that fixed our issue with our water tank thingy majiggy. Thank you so much Dave, you did an amazing job. That business is up for sale. So it comes with the post office, it comes with the house in the background and it comes with the marina. It's a great little opportunity because it's one of the only places along the stretch that does pump out and you can get your diesel. There we go, it's for sale. £475,000 for all that. Oh my goodness. Gout is an old term for a water pipe under the ground, and this whole area was once known as Wildmore Fen. It's believed that Sir Anthony Thomas is one of the people who helped drain the fens from this lock, which is why it gets the Anton part of Anton's gout. It's got thick again. Oh look, there's a clear patch ahead. I'm quite excited for this. Absolutely adorable. There's nothing quite like getting all of your ducks in a row, is there? I discovered that I had large white and small white butterfly caterpillars when I went to pick kale the other day for my dinner and realised I didn't have any left. But it's quite exciting because even though I have seen so many of the beautiful butterflies around, they're commonly known as cabbage white butterflies, even though I've seen so many of them, they are in decline from the butterfly count this year. So I'm really happy that actually they've chosen my little roof garden in order to lay their eggs. And also I discovered that they shed their skin as caterpillars before they make their chrysalis, which is completely new to me, so that's an exciting discovery. And I also discovered what I think is the rare sea aster bee. I'm just waiting for an expert's confirmation.
Boston stump is St. Botolph's church tower. It's just spectacular. It can be seen across miles of the flat Fenland countryside of Lincolnshire and for centuries it acted as a beacon for travellers. I can't get over that view. It's so incredible. So the stump is in the background, but I am going to bring it to the foreground. What that means is I'm actually going to go and have a look at it because there is a little link I have discovered with the Boston stump and the title of my vlog this week. So I'll have to show you what that is. Okay, we're nearly there. Let's show them that. So the HW is showing the high water point when the water has come over the barriers and onto the land. The sea wall is right where Zephyr is sniffing the lamppost there, you can see that. The most recent flood is 2013 and that's got the highest point and a boat was telling me every 50 years or so when the planets align and the wind comes in from the sea, then there is a flood. And the first record of a flood on the stump is 1781. We may have some leaks and some boat ageing creaks and kale that's all holy and bare. But an angel in white considered it right to deposit her gold in our care. What a treasure to win, each and every shed skin reminds me that here you once flew. And hopefully soon there'll be empty cocoons and a roof full of beauties like you.